Hi, Dr. Workman here. One of the questions I get all the time is, you know, Doc, I'm feeling a little bit of rippling or I'm feeling um, a new lump in the side of my breast. And usually that's due to not having enough skin or fat in particular covering the implant. And so, for instance, what I mean by that is, here's a, a, a typical saline implant. And we can see that on the side of it, oftentimes there can be some subtle rippling. You know, and if a person's got, you know, a couple inches of breast tissue on top of that, they're going to be fine. Um, you won't have palpable or visible ripples. But, um, you know, I had a patient today that had lost 15 pounds, and whereas initially they didn't have any, you know, problems with rippling after surgery, they, you know, she suddenly was feeling kind of a lump or a mass in the side of the uh, breast. And when I, you know, when we examined her, we found out her skin was about, the you know, skin in the subcutaneous fat was probably about a quarter inch thick. And that covering the implant, you know, allowed us to be able to not only feel that, but we, uh, we almost had some slight visible ripples. Um, this is a saline implant, and one of the reasons that we're primarily putting in silicone implants is there's a lower chance of rippling. So for instance, you know, here's a silicone gel implant. This is a generation 5, which we call the gummy bear, which basically means it's form stable, it maintains its shape. And so you can see when I put you know, about the same amount of pressure as I did on the saline implant, we're not getting the ripples here on the gel implant. And so that's uh, one of the big reasons why we are switching over, not only in the United States, but worldwide to silicone gel implants, especially the gummy bear, or what we call generation five. And so um, I think it's important that if you have thin tissue, talk to your surgeon about, you know, if they think the likelihood is high and that um, you, you may want to consider for sure getting a uh, gel implant. So that's all for today, and um, have a good one.